Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for tuning in to a real discussion. So as you've seen from the title, a man decides to execute a fellow cat owner. Let's get into it. A Florida man is accused of killing his neighbor in a dispute over a cat that wandered into his yard. Clifford Anthony Bliss Jr., 58, became angry when the cat walked into his yard. He went to his neighbor's home and threatened to shoot the cat. James Erlen Taylor Jr., 41, asked him not to shoot his cat. Instead, he was shot in the chest. Bliss was arrested without incident. He is charged with second-degree murder and is being held without bond in Marlin County Jail. Ladies and gentlemen, I have something I would like to show you guys that I found kind of disturbing, but also shows that sometimes there's signs that some individual is unstable part of them doing horrific incidents like this all right you guys take a look at this comment this person posted i grew up in the neighborhood and was probably eight to ten when he moved in multiple renters moved because of him he came onto my mom's property with threats over us riding four-wheelers picked a fight with a lot of people and was only nice until you upset him. I remember him yelling at us walking home from school one time because his dogs were barking at us through their fence. And it was our fault because we were too close. We were on the dirt road. How many of you guys actually sit down and communicate with the people around you, your fellow neighbors? Build relationships and friendships and uh, or really good acquaintances. It's not too often nowadays. Because cases like these, it seems like we see them more and more. More and more people doing crazy and foul stuff like this. And it, a lot of times it frightens people. It makes people go back to being or turning into an introvert when it comes to dealing with the neighbors. Because yes, times are changing. It's not getting it's not getting much better. Sally, this just proves the point even further. That a lot of times, yeah, we can't get as friendly and outgoing with, with neighbors, you know, strangers that we just don't know. It's not like it was back in the day. All I gotta say is that I hope this dude Gets everything that's coming to him. And it looks like it's going to be everything pretty much bad. Because I don't see no good coming to him anytime soon. And nor should it if he would do such a thing. Tragic and terrible as that. But you guys, y'all need to stay safe out there. I mean, if you can be, if you can be kind and of friendly to people, please do. I mean, people who are willing to go out their way and try to make relationships with people the more we do that the more we can kind of break this this fear of trying to get to know people outside of our own little circle but my ARD fam I'd like you guys to leave your thoughts below I'd like to see you know your comments your feedback and how you feel in this situation how do you guys handle dealing with your neighbors or if you deal with them at all? I also like you guys to please leave a like, subscribe to the content only if you see fit. And I want you guys to remember something. Always live every day for your purpose. Entertaining petty people's bullshit is just going to keep you going in circles. ARD out.